very commonly used trace on our coastline is a grey shark trace. Um, it is utilized in several different ways. The one I'm going to show you today is the FMJ version. We use it mainly for fishing over rocky areas where you might get cut off on a traditional grey shark trace. Um, this trace consists of one and a half meters of wire. I'm going to show you how to use this trace. Um, what we require for it is nylon coated wire. This is the Fishmate brand that we use. I'm going to be using 75 pound. A circle hook because we're fishing in rocks. Standard power swivel. Kingfisher number one crimp, very important and our NT swivels which when used does not kink your wire as much as a normal swivel will because we're going to be throwing a long distance we've got our uh, sinker clips standard grapnel sinker so we don't roll too much otherwise uh, you could get stuck in the rocks and you lose your trace and of course our trusty kingfisher snooting which we'll use for our sinker trace what you're going to require 75 pound nylon coated wire i'm going to make this about a meter and a half to two meters our oh, trusty circle lock what we're going to do to join it is a snell. So again, we just go through the eye and we just pinch the back with our finger and we're going to wrap it around six or seven times. Seven. And always coming in through the back, guys. Very important. Pull tight. Now what I'm going to do is get my lighter and just lightly melt the plastic and hopefully I don't burn my fingers in the process. Cut off the tag end as close as you can. About a meter away, I'm going to take my little crimp, my Kingfisher brass crimp. And just for reference, that's a number one sleeve, Kingfisher sleeve. And to crimp it on, I'm just going to take my round nose pliers, squeeze it, turn it, squeeze and squeeze again so uh, if you look at it you can see it's squ squeezed on that side then turned around 180 degrees and then squeeze down again it will not move we take a little um, rubber stopper okay one of these two Slide that down onto it. It's looking nowhere. Now empty um, swivel, and this is a size five. It's one of the smallest ones that you can get. And that little swivel, if you have a look at it, will rotate 360 degrees left or right. And it's flanged on both sides. If you look at that very closely, the fish pulls it under tension. There is no hard area for the wire to actually kink or bend. One of our Kingfisher power swivels, size 4. 
nice, neat and very small and to attach that, all we're going to do is a figure of eight, the wire, once, twice around your finger, go through, form your figure of eight, put your fingers in there, very important so you don't kink the wire, pull tight, slide down. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut that end off over there and that's that basically done. Attach the nylon to there. And everything that I'm doing in this trace is pretty much for clean water. Hence the silver wire, the silver hook. Um, lovely down in the Eastern Cape. Um, for bronze whalers, grey sharks, diamonds even, if you're fishing over a beach area that has got scattered rocks. So everything is kept as neat and as clear as possible. Just grab a sinker clip. Again, just a simple figure of eight. Grapnel sinker, just to attach. We're not actually using this clip system at all. It's just quick and easy to take your sinker off and change it. This is a throwing trace, not a clipping trace. And if I stand back, I'm going to show you the entire length of it. Top to bottom, that's the length that I generally use. It runs very freely, as you can see. So if you're fishing in the rocks with a circle hook, and you need to pull a fish over some big boulders and big rocks that have got muscles on, that's definitely the trace that I'd recommend. Guys, all the traces that uh, we show you are available in the saltwater sports range.